G'day guys, it's Char here. So I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Oh well. Um I thought what I would do is that I would answer some questions. Um, do some things that are a bit different on the gaming channel. I don't want it to be straight up gaming. I don't want it to be like gaming and updates. So I want to add a different thing still evolving with gaming, but maybe just more you and I stuff. So like this is just answering some questions about gaming. Just to see. I don't know. I want to try things differently. Just add a bit of spin, a little bit of twirl to something. So first question is, do you often relive gaming experiences or think about future ones? Um, I think that's actually a really good question. I think a lot about the games I've played, when it comes to all the different games I've played, throughout channel to games I've played offside, like The Legend of Zelda, the very recent one, Super Mario Odyssey, Zanzara, all these different games I've played throughout my lifetime. I've definitely thought about me being a character in a game and me kind of living that scenario of like whatever the character live. And I thought it was like always interesting and it's always fascinating to see like where I would go and I would create my own like I'd still be in that universe and world but like what I would have done if I was that say character. And it's always interesting to think. Do you hide or lie about your gaming? No. I don't think I do. I mean I don't say to everyone like hi my name's Jara nice to meet you I game. Like I don't do that but at the same time you know, when it comes to friends and family, I don't really promote my YouTube channels. So I guess you could say it's hiding my gaming. I don't know. Depends on what you how you see it as. Do you get very angry when someone or something interrupts a game? I don't think so. I think I get probably more upset if someone interrupts me recording. Because then I have to like edit that part out. I have to fix it. All these different things and that gets really frustrating but when it comes to playing a game i don't think so because i think that people are always priorities over video games so if someone needs to talk to me and i'm in the middle of a game then i'm sure as hell will put down my game device of any description and help them out if they need it have you taken a break from gaming and binged uncontrollably and binged uncontrollably upon your return I would say not. I'm not like an avid gamer where I play every single night a video game. So I don't think I've had to like, you know, binge uncontrollably on a game. I think the only game I kind of was obsessed with as a child, other than Mario Kart, was Zanzara, which I play a little bit on the channel, but it's kind of hard because it's so old, it doesn't work very well. So I kind of stopped playing it. But. That was a game I just non-stop played and I loved that game to death and I still love it now. Like it's my favourite game of all time I have to say. When upset, do you sue yourself with a game or plans to game? I think when I'm upset, playing a game can help. I don't plan to like, oh I'm getting mad now, let's go play a game. I think if I'm mad, sure I'll go play a game or I'll do something to calm myself down. It just depends on the scenario. Like, obviously if I'm in the middle of the woods, I can't play a video game. It just depends on where I am. Do you find yourself gaming in the early morning? Nope, because your girl loves to sleep. So, I usually game at night time, when I've done all of my work and things like that. Do you find ways to game when away from home? Yes, I, when I was younger I used to take my DS, or I would, now I take my Nintendo Switch, or if I'm at a friend's house I might play a bit of their PS or their Xbox, whatever they've got, because more than likely when it comes to like other people, they will have PS's or Xboxes or some description. And I didn't grow up with that, so that's a huge experience for me, being able to go to someone's house and be like, hey, let me play your PS4, let me go play your Xbox 360 Connect. Like, these are all new things to me and I get, it's fun when I go to people's houses and I get to play that. Mm. Do you set limits when gaming and then break them? Playing hours longer than Nintendo? Definitely. 100%. I 
I plan like right I'm gonna play this game for a half an hour and I play for two hours it sucks and I wish I could be better at giving myself a schedule but then it's hard at the same time because like if I have a schedule then like I need that scheduling but I don't like to schedule when creativity is so that's kind of the hard part that's why like lately this channel has been all over the place when it comes to my uploading schedule and I do apologize on that front it's just been all over the place and I've always said to myself that my schooling will come first and it's been like that for years but lately I've been trying to put my mental health first which hasn't been going very well to be brutally honest but that's a different video again um so I guess YouTubing has kind of fallen behind and I don't want that to happen but I don't want to stress myself out so much that like you know I haven't recorded and you know I'm sick as anything and I'm just stressing myself out to make a video like I don't want to do that do you lose hours of sleep to gaming depends if it's a game I really love like on the switch then probably again childhood used to all the time now no because like all the games I mainly play are on the PC and that's all the way downstairs my parents use that as well so I don't have anything of my physical own like my own PC so I can't be sitting in my room playing video games all night long It'd be amazing but I can't do that and that's reality have you ever called in sick or late to work or skip class to game no I hate missing out on school I hate missing out on St. John's We'll say John, I hate missing out on anything like that. And to do it for a stupid reason like gaming, that's something I would never do. And it pains me when I miss St. John. Like currently right now, I am missing St. John and I hate it. I am like in a panic. I'm like stressed because I'm like, St. John is like my family. And I feel like I'm abandoning them and I hate it. The only reason I didn't go tonight is because I was so sick. And I'm surprise I'm sitting up right now I'm not wanting to throw up basically so that kind of sucks but I would never skip school have you sworn off a game uninstalled it and later returned it yeah I've definitely uninstalled a lot of games and then reinstalled them but I've never like swore at a game being like I hate this game I want to get rid of it nothing like that do you feel guilt and shame around your around your gaming? I think definitely when it comes to Mario Kart, when I play with my family, I always feel like shameful because, and I mean this in the most modest way possible, when it comes to my family, I feel like I'm a pretty good Mario Kart gamer. And then I feel like that they don't, like I get really excited about it and then it just doesn't go well. So yeah. Does gaming contribute to arguments in your relationship? Uh, no. I, oh, sorry for it. I've never, well, this is my first relationship I'm in. And so, like, we game together. So I would say no, not yet. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> but you know me, I don't know 90% of the time what I'm doing with my life. Has gaming taken place of any hobbies or sports you used to enjoy? I mean, technically it has. Gaming has kind of taken over my life because it's now... A hobby youtube is my hobby it's something i wish was a job but it's not gonna be a reality um it's i used to dance and now i game a bunch of other reasons why i quit dance i'm thinking of making a video about that later when i'm more comfortable but for now hey game do you forget appointments responsibilities or deadlines in work or school when gaming a hundred percent because it's like, well, I gotta, you know, film this video, but I've got assignments due. When it's hard to balance the both, and it does get a bit overwhelming sometimes. Do you become irritated or defensive when people suggest you might be gaming too much? I don't get defensive or irritated. I try and listen and I try and be understanding. It can get a bit frustrating, maybe? isn't the correct wording but along those lines it can be a bit annoying has your hours spent gaming increased over time definitely from being a little kid who really didn't play 
to a kid who played a fair bit to now who has to play a video game at least once a week it's definitely improving it's definitely gone up a lot do you blow social events to game i wish i god wish have you lost contact with friends or family since gaming no i think my relationship with family and friends has actually grown because of gaming and do you have intense feelings, high, low, anger and fear while gaming? I think it depends on the game because like horror games, like a lot of horror games actually quite terrify me. That's why I've stopped playing horror games. But if there's actual joy, like I, I'm dead honest, I don't like to exaggerate my emotions. I don't like to exaggerate things. Because if I exaggerate it, then you're just like, oh, this person's fake. Next video. Things like that. So I try and be as real as on as honest as possible sometimes it just means there's a lot of dead air that I gotta cut out but that's fine what was the last game you bought I think the last game I bought it was from Steam I know that for a fact I think it was a child of light or something along those lines how do you feel about violence against I think it depends on the game like if it's a game where it's just straight up like oh uh, story driven la da, da da and then randomly there's violence put into it just to add to it i think that's a bit dumb but i think if it's like a fighting game again i think there's different levels depending on the fighting situation but i don't mind them i'm a bit of a weird when it comes to that what is the next game you plan to buy that is a good question i have a list on my steam so my steam name is sarcasmic so if you want to go check it out but yeah i can't remember i think on there i have a lost phone 2 i have night in the woods ori in the blind something i can't remember i got heaps of games on there i want to get how important are video games to, me, to you i mean they're not the be all and end all of everything but i mean they're pretty they're pretty good what is uh how do you feel about downloadable content for games or dcs to be honest, I've never bought a DC in my life. Downloadable content in my life. I've never really done anything like that. But my friends do all the time and they seem to love it. I'm not going to bash it because I don't know any information about it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Do you care about stores in games? Of course. Why wouldn't I care about games being in stores? I think if you can see little games, like ones that are online, and then becoming into stores, that's a huge deal for them. Do you think games can be educational? Definitely, 100% games can be educational. There are so many things that they can teach you, whether it's like to do with sciences, to do with math, to do with history, to do with the world, or even just to do with yourself. Games can teach you so many things. What's your favorite game? So I said this in the earlier, Zanzara and then Mario Kart. Definitely Zanzara is my number one favorite game of all time. And then my favorite genre of games is probably like story driven stuff. I love stories, I love storytelling, that's why I love D&D so much. Things like that, I love fantasy, that type of stuff. Why do you play games? I play games because it's fun. It escapes you from this world and puts you into a different one. You get to play as different characters, you get to be in different scenarios and different planets and stuff like that. And I think that's pretty cool. What was the last game you played? It was 1-2-Switch with Jared. We played that together while... I'm driving back from a camp that we went on together. Last question is, what game would you like to see more? What games would you like to see more in the future? I'd love to see more like indie games that just e explode. Like Undertale and Night in the Woods. They were indie games that just exploded. I'd love to see more like VR magic type games. Not where you become like a magician or anything like mystical ones where you're like, you're walking through like a magical forest and like I don't know, just magic games. I love magic and I love seeing the graphics get better. I love seeing like details and things and I just love lighting. So I love to I'd love to see lighting to get better. With that, I'm gonna end this episode here. So if you guys like this, let me know in the comments below. It's something a bit different, something I haven't really tried. So I, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyway, drops guys in the next video. 
sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. It feels weird kind of filming a gaming video in my bedroom. This is kind of weird, but I dig it. Yes.